Construction sites, mines and fishing are sectors where workplace injuries or death are most prone, says labor expert Lemon Daniels. In the past two years and three months, 16 such deaths were reported and Daniel says one death is one too many. Regarding the 21 serious injuries which occurred in the same time span, the labor expert says those numbers do not reflect the real situation on the ground. Many of the people that suffered injuries, the employer doesn't uh, see it necess deem it necessary to report the cases to the Ministry of Labor, number one, and also to the Social Security so that people get compensated. Many people are actually dismissed, you know, after they become, they are injured and they cannot perform at the same level as before the injury. And because people also do not know their rights when it comes to injuries at the workplace, uh, those cases are never reported. And as a result, people suffer in silence. Daniels talks about two cases that he has dealt with. It's someone that was injured uh, on a fishing vessel and the case was ne he reported it to the to the vessel captain and it took about three months before the company's HR eventually uh, took up the matter with the Social Security Commission. So that's just an indication you know that employers are not serious when it comes to injuries at workplace. Well, one case that I dealt with where someone left uh, his foot, a few of his toes had to be amputated. That affected his walking and he had to endure pain for many years before the case was actually resolved. Uh, that case was also not reported by the employer. Uh, firstly, there was a reluctance even to take the employee to a hospital uh, for a medical practitioner to look at the nature of the injuries. So that in itself, you know, took some time and the, the injury became septic. And as a result, you know, he had to amputate a few toes. Daniel says injuries at work can ruin personal lives. They have an impact on relatives, educational opportunities and other basic needs. The employer has a duty to provide a safe and conducive working environment. But Daniel says the Ministry of Labor, the Social Security Commission and trade unions should all do more in terms of educating workers on their rights on health and safety. The law also makes provision for health and safety representatives at the workplace. But if you look at it, uh, that part of the law is not really implemented. And the ministry has labor inspectors, but from what I understand is that there's not sufficient uh, health and safety inspectors to go out to all the workplaces. Now, as a result of that, you know, employers basically get away with it. The labor expert is calling on trade unions to regain their passion for fighting for the rights of their members. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.